I've been asked a few times now, Craig, can you show us how to update the Spectrum ESCs and the Program V2 box? Here we go. So to update your Spectrum ESC and the V2 program box, there are a few things that you're going to need. First of all is a Spectrum ESC. So in my case, in the LMT2, this is, you can, it says on here, look, a Firma 130 Smart Brushless ESC. That's going to be important. We're going to need to remember that. You're also going to want a V2 program box, a male-to-male servo connection lead and you're going to need a usb to usb c cable and of course you need a windows laptop or desktop pc if you've only got an apple one you might need to find a friend with a windows version i don't know if you can do it on apple maybe you can i don't know so the first step is to go to your internet explorer or browser and then up here we're going to type spectrum rc that's all i typed and then it brings up the website, click on the website. And then from here, straight into the search bar up here, you don't need to be signed into this or nothing. Straight into the search bar, I'm going to type Firma 130, because that's what my ESC has wrote on it. And there it is, there's mine. The 130 Black Edition Brushless. So that's mine, we click on that. Scroll down, manuals and support here, we click on that, and then at the bottom of the list there is the update instructions. So we're going to click the bottom one, Spectrum Firma, Smart Link, Update Instructions. It'll show you this, and then there you can download the latest Spectrum Smart Link, this blue link. Click on this. And it's downloaded into your files up here. You can open the file, open this file. Now these are zipped. At the moment it all looks very confusing. But if you look in this in type, down here, I think it's near the bottom there. Spectrum USB link application. It is the only type that's an application. So we click on this, extract all. I'm going to put it straight on the desktop because it just makes it easier to find and say extract so now it should have done its thing so we can close everything down here now in this bottom corner we have the spectrum usb link scroll down again ignoring all of this and in here this little orange symbol, Spectrum USB link. Click on that. Windows doesn't recognise it, but it is safe. Click more info. Run anyway. And there we go. This is the app that we need. So first thing is we're going to update the V2 program box. For that, you plug the USB cable into your pc or laptop the other end of the cable you plug into the usb slot on the program box and it now says connecting to pc from here we're going to click device in this top corner and we're going to select lcd program box this is now connected to the box so you will see there what your firmware is on your box. Mine says 1.0.33 and available versions are here. My box is actually up to date. So if you've got in this drop down menu a more up to date version, you click on that, press upgrade up the top here, let it do its thing and your box will be updated. To check for any updates now on your ESC, you're going to need to plug your servo cable into your ESC. Now these are marked negative, positive and signal wire. The signal wire is white. So that's going to go into the program box like that. Then we connect the other end into the fan port 
on the ESC. Unplug the fan. The signal wire goes towards the middle of the ESC. So this way round, we plug that into the fan port. We can now plug in the battery and power on the ESC. With the ESC powered on, come back to your laptop. And in this app, we're going back to the top here, device, ESC speed controller. It's recognized the ESC. So now we have options, basic options for running mode, drag brake, low voltage punch. It's all there. You've got advanced settings, what type of battery, your Beck voltage, which is always good to turn up if everything in your truck can cope with it. Motor rotation and timing, and then firmware upgrade. So if your ESC has an upgrade, it will be listed here. So there, firmware version, mine is B5.16, available versions B5.16. There are two available options in mine. Mine's already the most updated. If yours has got a more up-to-date version, same as when we updated the program card, you select what version you want and you press upgrade. You now get the status bar come up. It might take some time to fill this. I will speed this section up. And there we go, that's done. Now I do believe once you have updated your settings your basic settings and advanced settings might go back to factory. So if you've changed anything, then you might want to go back and just check them. And that is it. You're done. You can press disconnect. Then I'm just going to unplug the power, unplug the program card from the ESC. Remember to plug your fan back in. Then we can plug the truck back in. Turn your controller on. Turn the truck on. And there we go. Ready to rip. And that is how easy it is to update your V2 box, to upgrade your Spectrum ESC. And with all your updates done, you're ready to go. I hope somebody finds this useful. If you do, please do subscribe, bash the bell, and catch me in another video. Goodbye.